Carl. Issued as a brand new kid in 1977 by Airfix. This is the 132 scale 17 pounder anti tank gun and six man crew. Um, as an Airfix kit, it ran from 1977 to about 1981. Then it becomes obsolete and is no longer issued. Um, in 2015, some 34 years later, Airfix reissue it as a brand new kit in the new red box. And the new kit box doesn't do kind of this box much justice. This box is dated 1980, but from 1977 to 1981, if you bought the kit back then, this is the box that you got with the little triangular decal on the side saying plus six man gun crew in both English and French language. Um, and it also says molded in two colours. Both of these statements are kind of slightly incorrect. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, so you can imagine the look on people's faces back in 1977. Brand new kit by Airfix, and incidentally, this kit has always been a brand new Airfix kit. It's never been an Airfix one that's been revamped re from another company's model kit. When this was issued, it was brand new by Airfix. So you can imagine, the look on people's faces in 1977, they saw this in the shops with a little sticker, plus six man gun crew, and yet yeah, on the cover, one, two, three, four, five, six man gun crew. And what they did was, when they got it home, they opened the box and inside, they kind of went, well, there's this piece of plastic, whatever that's for, and in the box, there's two sprues in green for the gun, but where's the gun crew? And they looked at the box, and what they found in the box was two sprues, and the two sprues aren't the British gun crew. With the kit from 1977 to 1981, what you actually got with it was the 1974 issue of the British multipause British infantry. That's what you got as the gun crew. And using the multipause set, you had to make your own gun crew. Now, the kit, it kind of, I'll put this back together again, it kind of does a vanishing act in 1980-81. Um, 30 odd years later, 2015, Airfix reissued the kit. Now, with the the 2015 issue of the kit, what you get with it as the gun crew is the 2005 reissue of the old Airfix British World War II infantry multipause set. So you have to make your own uh, gun crew out of it. Because people buy this vintage kit to build up and they go, well, there's no there's no gun crew in it. There's just the British multipause infantry. Yeah, that is correct to the kit. That's all you got with it. You didn't get a specially made gun crew with it. You got the Airfix multipause infantry, you had to make your own version of it. Um, but as I say, it disappeared and then is reissued in 2015. Now it's marketed in the new Airfix red box and it'll cost you about 1995 as a brand new model kit. So if you're gonna buy one, buy the 2015 onwards reissue. It's exactly the same kit, you get the same figures in it. The vintage one doesn't really retail for that much more now. It sells for between 15 and 19 pound as a vintage kit. Um, it is a really good model. The box art on this box is far better than the box art on the current new kit box because the current new kit box, the box art doesn't do their model much justice at all. On the side of the box, it says, the features of this highly detailed kit include a falling bridge block, working trails and moving spades, Elevating gun and traversing mount plus a six man gun crew. It says that in both English and in French. So from 1977 to 1981, this is that issue of the Airfix 132 17 pounder anti tank gun and its crew. So we'll take a look at this one. So the box, and this is the common box from 77 through to 81 and if you compare this box art with the current incarnation of the kit it really is far superior so the price on this one when somebody bought it originally was 99 pence probably when it was obsolete and out of production sticker in front of the box plus six man gun crew molded in two colors now what you have to do you have to use the instructions plus the box art to kind of make your own gun crew Side of the box, series 6 70 pound tank gun, 
This one's copyrighted to 1980, so it's a later incarnation in that run. The instructions, the paint that you use, then we open it up, and inside you have the instructions which we'll come to. You have the complaints label if something's missing from your kit. This one is still heat sealed across the top, so you can't get into it. It's mould in the kind of British Army bronze green plastic. That's the gun. And what this piece of plastic's for is for making the straps to the weapon equipment and the straps to the rifles, etc, etc. That's what that's actually for. And inside you have the good old Afix Multipores British Infantry with the brain guns, the helmets, the stens and all the equipment, packs, bags, etc, etc and a little thing to join the Airfix Modelers Club so that's what you have to make up your gun crew out of as I say with this 77 to 81 incarnation you get the 1974 release of the uh, British Infantry with the 2015 reissue of the kit you get the 2005 reissue of the British Infantry. I don't know if it's in the same colours nowadays, but there you go. The instruction sheet, we'll take a look at that one. Instruction sheet, 132 scale model construction kit, 17 pounder anti-tank gun. The 17 pounder was the largest of the three anti-tank guns used by the British Army in the Second World War. It was a heavy gun weighing some 2.9 tonnes, needing a good sized detachment to position it. But this drawback was more than compensated by for by its ability to knock out any of the German tanks in service during the later stages of the war. With a muzzle velocity, 2,900 feet a second, the gun's 3-inch shells could penetrate under 30mm of armour at 1,000 yards, which was increased which, which was increased after D-Day to 192mm with the availability of a discarding Sabbath shot. Rate of fire was 10 rounds per minute. Design work on the 17-pounder began in April 1941 with the aim of replacing existing anti-tank guns. First deliveries of the new gun were made to the Royal Artillery Units in August 42, and the type first saw action in the Battle of Medin, North Africa on 6 March 43. The 17-pounder was widely used in Italy and Northern Europe, and continued in post-war service for many years. Its use extended to being employed as a field gun, its high explosive shell providing a, peculiar, a particularly useful charge in this role. Airfix would like to acknowledge the kind assistance of the curator and staff of the Museum of Artillery Woolwich and the Imperial War Museum London during the preparation of this kit. As I say, it was brand new back then. So, stages 1 to 6 are how to make the multipose infantry into the various gun crew. And it says, If desired, the small arms pack stands etc may be added to the figures. So the airfix multipose, as you're aware, it's a separate torso, legs, hands, head, etc etc this is how to put them together to make a decent enough representation of a gun crew five and six so that's the six gun crew members sorted out stage number seven assembling sequence the gun barrel etc so we have stage eight nine Stage 10, 11, the sighting mechanism, 12, 13, 14, 15, you have to fold it out, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, it says the gun may be assembled in firing or towing positions. So that's how to assemble it in the firing position. Basically it's just the, it's just the, uh, the spades either in the up position or the down position. And how to fix it in the towing position. Then we have the wheels and the hub assemblies. Turn it over to the back. We 
of how to put it all together finishing touches with the shield detail to the shield putting the ammunition together and gun in firing position kind of paint chart and it says use in conjunction with box artwork position other parts as required and we have the color guide paint numbers m5 m6 m7 m21 m23 m24 g8 g16 and g18 so that's the instructions and an obsolete for 34 years but now back into production as of 2015 this is the original 1977 to 81 airfix 17 pounder anti-tank gun and its crew with a couple of little white lies on the box And the price of the original one compared to the current production one doesn't really vary all that slightly. Only thing is the box art is much better on the original one than on the reissue. 17 pounder anti-tank gun, 1977 to 1981 issue.